Susan. Today I'm going to show you how to install SPD cleats. SPD cleats and pedals are what you'll almost always use for indoor cycling. SPD cleats are also very popular for touring and mountain biking because many of the cycling shoes they're designed for are comfortable for walking around in. All shoes that have a two bolt sole pattern are compatible with SPD cleats. This is the Keen commuter sandal. This is a shoe that's only compatible with two bolt cleats. When the cleat is installed, it's recessed into the hole of the shoe so that you can walk more or less normally. Uh, shoes like this may come with a cleat cover on them. You'll just um, unscrew this with a regular Phillips head screwdriver. This piece comes off and reveals the uh, place where the cleats can be installed. Sometimes shoes come this way because you also have the option of wearing them without the SPD cleats in them. This is the Louis Garneau Revo XR shoe. It's a road style shoe. Uh, this shoe is compatible with both two bolt and three bolt cleat systems. For SPD cleats, you'll use these two holes here to install the cleats. Uh, when the cleat is installed onto this shoe, the cleat will stick out a little bit. Road style shoes are a little bit difficult to walk in because the cleat sticks out from the sole, as opposed to the Keen shoes where the cleats are recessed into the sole. This is the CD T2 Triathlon shoe. Uh, the shoe is super cute, but it's not SPD compatible. This shoe has a three bolt uh, drill pattern on the bottom, which means it's only compatible with three bolt cleats, uh, typical for road style pedals and cleats. Installing cleats yourself isn't difficult. Here's what you'll need. You'll need an SPD compatible shoe, You'll need SPD cleats. You'll also need a four millimeter Allen wrench, um, which is sometimes also called a hex key. Mine is on a mini tool that has most of the common bike specific tools all in one package, which is convenient because it can sit right into your seat pack. Uh, you'll also want some grease. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Here's a brand new set of SPD cleats in their package. The cleat set contains everything that you'll need to install a pair of cleats. There are the two cleats right here, two washers, four screws. Here the cleats are screwed into a metal plate that's inside the retail display card. You almost certainly don't need the plate. It's just like the one that's already installed inside of your shoes, so feel free to recycle these plates. This largest piece is the cleat itself. It's the part that actually clips into your pedal. This sliding washer keeps the screws aligned and allows me to adjust the cleat position side to side. The cleat screws are a standard size and thread diameter. All SPD compatible bike shoes accept the same size screws, which is one less thing to worry about when you're installing cleats. First, I'll lightly grease the threads of the screws. This makes it a lot easier to remove the cleats when they wear out or to adjust them later. Grease does not make them more likely to come loose. Now I'm nestling the sliding washer into the oval shaped groove on the cleat. This will be the side that faces the pedal when the cleat is installed. The washer is not as long as the groove. You can slide it back and forth to adjust the cleat position. The holes on the washer match the bevels on the screws, so the bevels are facing out like this. Here are the two threaded inserts in the bottom of the shoe. You'll notice that this plate moves around. Uh, in the event that this plate is misaligned, i.e. it's perhaps slipped to the side, maybe like that when you get your shoe, all you need to do is take out the insole of your shoe, like this, and then you'll have access to the plate that's on the inside. You can simply reposition the plate properly back into the bottom of the shoe and then slide the insole back in. Just like that. So I'm putting one screw into each hole in the washer. This lines the screw up and I'm going to screw the cleat into these threaded inserts in the bottom of the shoe. 
So I just line it up. And I'm going to use my four millimeter Allen key to just start screwing it in. So they're both in there very lightly right now. And before I tighten the cleats down, I'm going to check their alignment. I can adjust the cleat forward and back like this. And I can also move the cleats side by side. Now where exactly you end up wanting to position that is going to be based um, on your preferred cleat position, which I can't give you any advice on here. Um, some people have uh, preferences to have their cleats very far forward, other people farther back. Over time, you'll get to figure out uh, what's most comfortable for you. So now that I'm ready to tighten the cleats, if I've found the position that I want, I'm going to do a little bit at a time on each one. And I'm going to go back and forth, tightening them down just a little bit at a time on each side. until they're both as tight as I can get them. Going back and forth like this makes sure that, uh, it ensures that the cleats are tightened evenly and properly. Sometimes new riders assume that if they install their cleats loosely that they'll be able to clip out easily, but it doesn't actually work that way. Having a loose cleat means that you can't fully use the leverage of your shoe to clip out, and it's dangerous because a loose screw could jam in your pedal. Hi, my name is Susan. Today I'm going to show you how to install SPD cleats. SPD cleats and pedals are what you'll almost always use for indoor cycling. SPD cleats are also very popular for touring and mountain biking because many of the cycling shoes they're designed for are comfortable for walking around in. All shoes that have a two bolt sole pattern are compatible with SPD cleats. This is the Keen commuter sandal. This is a shoe that's only compatible with two bolt cleats. When the cleat is installed, it's recessed into the hole of the shoe so that you can walk more or less normally. 